elderly woman is running out of hope tonight. Yeah, she says she's being evicted in fewer than 12 hours and has no place to go. Cardio News Channel 13's Dana Molina live here in the Newsplex with new information on this tonight. James Heather, this woman lives at the Cedar Creek Club apartments off South Shelton Road near Fountain. She says she had been wanting to move out, but not like this. This is packed and bags ready to go. Annabelle is ready to move out, but has nowhere to go. I don't know. I looked for one. I haven't found one I can afford. The 72-year-old didn't want to show her face on camera for fear of retaliation from her landlord. She says the problems between them began over this. It's not fun. I, I mean, I agree with them. It's unsanitary, but I wasn't the cause of it. I moved in with the idea that there weren't any bugs. Bugs all over her apartment. Oh, uh, we've gone back and forth. This place has bugs on top of everything else. And I had to bring in a lot of my mother's stuff that was in boxes that was in this room. And um, they kept saying that that was attracting the bugs. Well, I didn't bring any bugs. She kept getting notices like this one at her door. They would send me notices, do this or that, which I did. And then it would be quiet, nobody would say anything. And then suddenly they come back again and start the whole thing over again. When her lease ended last December, she was told it wouldn't be renewed. She was taken to court and was on the losing end. Soon after, she got this eviction notice. In a way, kind of relief, but in another way, I don't have any place to go. I haven't been able to find a place. Annabelle doesn't have many options. She's on oxygen 24-7. She has heart failure and is anemic. All she wants now. I need a place to live. That's my most imperative thing. And fast. Annabelle says she has no family. Her friends don't have room for her, so that's not an option. Her last resort is going to a motel, which she says she can't afford for too long. Live in a newsplex, Dana Molina, KRDO News Channel 13. Hopefully she can get some help.